one to watch, isn't he? Is Tom very, very quick indeed? And this could be very interesting. And some of these drivers will need to work their way through the pack as quick as possible to get away from Tom and the chasing pack. So I believe it's 25 of them out on the raceway. Good luck to. It's 26, it's, tw it's 26 cars, we'll get there between us. Steve Abbott said 27, I said 25, but the actual number is 26. So 26 cars out on the raceway. So interesting to see how Charlie Sorter gets on in this one, flying out there in the Grand National last time round. So we're off and running then, 58 PS uh, left, lagging behind, C34 PS however, is a way and gone. Mark Sargent getting caught up in the early stages, Joshua Smith is uh, on the charge as well, and our superstar drivers, Tom Harris, all over the back of Newton and Wayman in the early stages of this one, and in we go, as uh, drivers then progressing hard as 415, Russell Cooper puts the bumper in, Mark Sargent had progressed well, but now gets pushed a little bit further down the pack as Newton Going in with a bumper down there, 175, Paul Hawkins is relegating, oh goodness me, and around we all go, as Matt Newton gets caught up down there, oh, and no, Wyman's in trouble, Frankie Wyman Jr. is in big trouble, so Wyman out of the running as our three superstars get it on in the early stages of this one, Charlie Saunders making eye-catching progress, 234 Pierce it is though, out at the head of affairs, 389 in second spot, that's Tom Damon who is challenging well in the early stages of our wide yellows, bumpers going in all the time, Joshua Smith is now uh, looking like he's in trouble but gets going again. So Charlie Sorter dispatches a scribble in number 12 and comes on his way as Matt Newson. The two of our superstar drivers are off the raceway now, look at the uh, progress of Tom Harris, oh and uh, Nigel Harry. Gets in the way there, Dodgers here had to go round the outside. In comes Harris on the uh, bumper on 259. So Hines gets pushed aside by Tom Harris, who continues to make the progress like a world champion should do. So 234 Pierce leads it, does Kitson now on the challenge for second spot on Damon. And gets it this time round. Can Damon retaliate? Puts the bumper in. And uh, Kitson gets caught up. Mark Sargent now gets up there into fourth. Jake Harry, Russell Cooper, and now Charlie Sorter. He's also trying to make a challenge down there. Tom Harris has got a lot to do if he's going to win this one. 2 3 4 Pierce is still on the charge. Halfway next time, Mr. Stoddard. It's halfway next time for our white player, Terry Pierce, who is leading the way. And he's going very nicely out there. 5 3 2, Das Kitson is there for second. Then 3 2 6 is Mark Sargent. Charlie Saunders still progressing and gets rid of Jake as he gets up the inside. Michael Scriven is covering every move and he now puts a move. Oh, and uh, potentially Jake Harry trying to get up on the inside, but it's not going to work. So 2 3 4 Pierce leads away. Das Kitson for second. Mark Sargent third. Charlie Saunders is now up there in fourth. Michael Skiven leads us boss. Oh, the leader getting it all wrong. And 58 Pierce. The 234 Pierce. Oh, 234. Goodness me. Cherry's in a whole world of trouble now as Dutch Kitts and he's starting to make his move. Five next time, Mr. Sardin. It's five to go next time. So through they all come. Two Pierce leads. Oh, what? Oh, goodness me. 58. Keith Pierce. He's just getting in the way of Cherry. So does Kitson now trying to mount a serious challenge as Charlie Sauter is all over the back of Mark Sargent. Oh, goodness me, in goes 58 Pierce. There's Daz Kitson, and had enough. So Terry leads away. Well, in fact, he's now starting to get a bit more of a gap involved, but Charlie Sauter is not out of this yet, Mr. Sauter. Watch out for the fly, number five. Charlie Sauter is on the charge, picking up where he left off from the Grand National last time round. 
so Tom Harris now is one inside the top. Oh, goodness me, and nails Michael Scrivens go down. Craig Finnegan trying to get involved. But look at us, Charlie Sawyer is now in second spot. We can be up for a big finish here. So, two, three, four, Terry Diaz trying to hold on. He's doing a great job out there, but Charlie Sawyer is looking menacing, Mr. Sada. Charlie Sawyer is on the charge. The flying number five is all over the back of the 234 machine. Does Kitson hasn't got an answer for it? Oh, but Charlie trying to trip all over 234. Now Pierce trying to get back in. But Sauter it is. Surely now this one is over. As the flying five machine goes down the back straight once again. Does Kitson get the tire? Oh, it gets it all wrong. Race room for Charlie Sauter, Pierce second, Mark Sargent third, Tom Harris. Oh, and Mal Brown from fourth and fifth. I would say it was Tom Harris just. And the rest are making their way through. Oh, and at the end there, Jack Harry going out. What a race that was. Fantastic stuff from the young man. There we go, Mr. Sauter. Reds out on the raceway. Reds out on the raceway. Charlie Sauter at number five takes victory. Congratulations, Charlie. Fantastic performance. Literally, for you, carried on where you left off at the Grand National last time out. Yeah, I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm having a bit of success in this car. Um, obviously, I've had my folding car and I struggled a bit, but been very lucky to be sponsored the car by a man called um, Frank Sean Macker and I really appreciate it and you know I'm just trying to be as good as my dad really that's my, that's my aim yeah well listen what a fantastic start it's been I mean I know how happy you were after the Grand National let's talk about this race so to be honest with you did you feel like you were the only one that could mount a challenge Dad's kits and was there but he was never getting any closer to the leader no I mean I, I didn't really know who was leading if I'm honest I didn't know the white top was winning but Every car you come to, you've got to treat it like it's just another one to pass, whether they're bad marks or if, if you're in 10th, 9th or 8th. So I just want to get to the front as fast as I can, really, and hope I can keep the top boys behind me. I'd imagine uh, Mick gives you a bit of coaching, but I'm not sure. So he's probably your biggest critic at the same time. He does, yeah. He's not here today, unfortunately. He's at a truck show. So I'm here with the rest of my team. I'd really appreciate all their help because without yeah. them, I wouldn't be standing. So. Must be pleasing for you though, because you've really got the hang of this car now. And to be fair to you, between the two, you and the car, you seem like at the minute you could be an unstoppable force here tonight. It'd be nice. I want to get a final because it's sort of the, the best shadow track sort of thing. So it'd be nice to get a final win. But listen, you've got to be on the top boys as well because you can't forget about your Frank, Tom, Matt, because they're all they're the top. They know what they're doing. So hopefully we can keep them off. But. Well, congratulations, Charlie. Fantastic stuff. I'll let you Thank get you. around for a lap of honour. And uh, superb, brilliant stuff, Charlie Sorter.